Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Peyton and today I'm back with another video. As you all have read by the title, today I'm back with a how to make a frontal wig tutorial. So I've done a bunch of these in the past. This video is actually going to be how to make a frontal wig with glue. Just wanted to let y'all know before I hop right in that I am using hair and a frontal that's already used. I did receive this frontal and three bundles from Ronnie Hair. I'll have all the information in the description box below. I'm just letting y'all know that because I did cut two of the bundles and the lace was already customized and the lace was already cut but let's go ahead and hop right in if you guys want to see how to get this look all right guys so the first step is to place the frontal on the wig head uh, or the wig cap but i deleted the clip of me doing that i'm really sorry but the easiest way to place a frontal on a wig cap is just to use that thick white line as a guide you want to make sure it's on the furthest right and the furthest left side basically going from ear to ear you don't want to pull it up too far you want to make sure it doesn't cover more than one fourth of the wig cap space as you all can see you can use the same placement making sure that you have enough room for the rest of the bundles it should just be placed nearly at the front of the wig and it is okay if the frontal puckers in the front it's not supposed to lay flat like a lace closure it is supposed to pucker because once you cut the wig cap it will lay flat on your head and as you all can see i just ended up taking a thread and needle and just sewing all the way across that white thick band of the frontal and at the end i looped it three times then i went ahead and cut it and made a little knot to make sure it was secure and then i went ahead and braided the frontal to separate it and make it easier for me to put the bundles on the cap. Alright guys, so now it's time to get started with the bundles and gluing them on. Like I said, this hair is used and it was damp because I had just washed it. But it doesn't matter because you're going to be using a blow dryer. So the easiest way to do this is to be taking two T-pins and putting it on the end of the weft that you're going to be using. I like to place it just as so, not going from ear to ear yet and slowly building my way up there. This is the glue that I will be using. It is this Salon Pro 30 Super Bond glue. I go ahead and just apply a lot of that onto the weft. You don't have to do too much. And then I blow dry it on warm for about like 30 to 45 seconds. Or I kind of just eyeball it until it looks like it's tacky. Then I place it onto the wig cap and I blow dry it on hot for about another 30 seconds to one minute. The easiest way for me is to eyeball it until it looks like it's melted and you can pull on it to ensure that it's secure. And I just continuously do that so you guys can see my technique using the T-pans on each end, cutting the track, and then applying the glue and blow drying it as I eyeball it until it looks tacky. Now, it depends on your blow dryer, it depends on your glue. This might take more or less time to get tacky. It's important to take your time, but as you all know, I was rushing this process. If you do want to take your time, it's easier to just use a thread needle, but this is the process that I use to quickly make a wig. But I was kind of going a little bit too fast for like the first couple of wefts. So as you guys can see, I did have to keep going back in with the glue to ensure that it was secure and you can ensure that it's secure by pulling on it and if you pull on it and it comes off easily then you know you did not blow dry it for long enough so just do it a little bit longer and go back in and just make sure you blow dry it and let me pull on it again to ensure it's secure.
So as I was telling you all earlier, you don't want to start off by gluing it from ear to ear reaching the front to right away. And I personally don't do that because I feel like it makes the wig look bulky in the end. You want to gradually make the length of each weft longer and longer so that it slowly but surely touches the frontal ear to ear. As you all can see, I gradually got closer um, to the frontal as I continue to add my wefts. Now, as you all start to put more wefts, you will slowly start to get a U-shape at the top of the head. Once your U-shape is small enough, similar to how it looks right here, then that is when you want to start taking your wefts and placing them horizontally, one on top of the other, just as I do so instead of continuing that U-shape. Last but not least, when you're finally finished, you just want to go ahead and blow dry the entire wig for about a minute or two on high heat, and that is it. I took the wig cap off of the wig head. As you guys can see, I messed up my wig head real bad. Then I went ahead and took some scissors and just cut off that space of cap, and this is the finished result after I straightened the hair. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that length, that volume, that body, and that scalp. It's giving a scalp. A little baby hair or two. And boom, you guys, it's just that easy. It took me only two hours. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the final look. I'll go ahead and let you guys see what this hair is looking like on me. Um, this hair is 26 inches, so it does go 
all the way down to like my hip this hair is honestly really really bomb guys um i'm not really gonna do a review because they didn't ask me to but this hair is really bomb um i've been wearing this wig for like two weeks and obviously like i said i was wearing this hair before i even made the wig so i've honestly been using it for like over a month now this was like my birthday hair i love the way that this wig turned out if you guys like this video and you liked how the wig turned out or you guys are going to emulate this look please make sure you guys comment down below if you like this video please make sure you give it a big giant thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching